In today's episode, we'll show you a spring ombre using shades from the Spring Seco collection. These designs will be full of color and sparkle. Hi, my name is Connie, and this is a channel dedicated to the art of nail styling. Today, we'll do an ombre using our Spring Seco collection. Let's get started. For today's designs, we'll be using gel polishes in Lux Torpeda, Spring Seco, Girls Wanna Have Glam, Trella Morella, La Bamba, and Mad Woman. Top coats, Tip Top and Super Matte. Also, Sugar Effect, Fashion Clear Acrylic Powder, Cupcake Brush, Master Nail Art 007 Brush, a Dotting Tool and Mini Ombre Sponges. Around Christmas and the carnival season, we can admire many glittery ombre stylings. These are mostly done with the glitter starting at the free edge, with sparkles layered and shaded towards the cuticles. In the springtime, we do it differently. Now we'll be working on top of a glittery surface with the help of vivid and pastel shades. We cover our nail with Lux Torpeda. We apply two layers and cure each one in the lamp for 30 seconds. Using a dotting tool, we pick up some sugar effect from the jar and place it on the bottom part of the nail. Before starting to ombre, we need to prepare the sponge. If it's brand new, we need to cut off the production layer. New sponges have a densely textured surface which needs to be disposed of. Next, we put the sponge into the X-type tweezers. Using the purple extension form, we remove any impurities from the sponge. Cleaning a sponge with the help of a form is a cool and effective step, but you need to remember not to overdo it as you'll get the opposite effect to what you set out to achieve. What do I mean? If you detach the sponge from the sticky surface of the form too fast, or too slow, you can damage its structure instead of just removing the loose specks. Then instead of getting a lovely brand new smooth sponge, you'll get a ragged edged one, which will leave bits of itself in your ombre design. And that is something we really want to avoid. So what should this stamping motion be like? Quick and gentle. And what should it not be? Slow and hard, because you know what will happen then. We blend from the center of the nail, moving the sponge sideways from left to right in an energetic motion. We blend across one place until the sponge soaks up the excess product, then bit by bit we move the sponge upwards. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We place a bit more sugar effect onto the bottom of the nail and using quick motions blend the color sideways. Again, bit by bit we move the sponge up, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. The third layer is made using only the product left in the sponge, which will help us get a perfect tonal transition. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We secure the nail with tip top top coat and cure again for 30 seconds. And it's ready. This is our first ombre look of the day. We cover the second nail with spring seco. We apply two layers, curing each one in the lamp for 30 seconds. We apply some Trella Morella shade to the bottom of the nail. We blend it using the same method as before, from the center to the sides, moving upwards bit by bit. We then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. When creating an ombre with gel polishes, we need to keep in mind that the tonal transitions will be much gentler than when using nail art gels. But we have a hack for that. If we buff out the surface we'll be applying an ombre to, the effect will be much more visible. We have three options for texturing. We can use the super matte top coat, we can cover the nail with acrylic powder, or we can simply take a buffer and gently buff the required surface. We cover the whole nail with super matte top coat and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We apply some more Trella Morella to the bottom of the nail and blend it from the center sideways with energetic motions. We can already see that the color is more intense. We cure again for 30 seconds. We apply Super Matte again and cure for another 30 seconds. We then apply a third layer of Trella Morella and blend following the same method as before, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. The final layer is, like in the last design, just about using the product left in the sponge, so we don't add any extra product, but blend out using the same method as before. We cure the design in the lamp for 30 seconds. Next, we secure the design with Tip Top Top Coat and using our Master Nail Art 007 brush, we even out the light line and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And that's it. We cover the next nail with Girls Wanna Have Glam. 
We apply two layers and cure each one in the lamp for 30 seconds. We place a drop of La Bamba and Mad Woman onto the bottom part of the nail. As always, we start blending from the middle and using energetic movements, bit by bit, we move the sponge to the right, back to the center and then to the left. We don't move the sponge in any other direction until this first layer is finished with perfect shading. We blend until the shades are combined and the sponge soaks up any excess product. We sprinkle the uncured layer with the Fashion Clear acrylic powder, dust off any excess back into the jar and cure the nail in the lamp for 30 seconds. We dust any loose product off with our pastel blue cupcake brush. When creating an ombre, the first layer is key. We need to put some good effort into blending it perfectly and getting rid of any marks left by the sponge. If we don't pay enough attention, hoping we'll manage to cover any issues with the following layers, we'll be unpleasantly surprised. The next layers will only enhance the existing flaws. This is why we never rush the first layer. We blend it until we get perfect tonal transition, we cure it, and only then move on to the next layer. We repeat the ombre step again. We apply a drop of La Bamba and Mad Woman onto the nail in the same order as before and blend. We sprinkle the new layer with the Fashion Clear acrylic powder and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We remove any acrylic powder residue with the soft cupcake brush. We create the final layer using only the product already on the sponge to increase the intensity of the colors and get a smoother transition. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Secure the whole design with a tip-top top coat and cure again for 30 seconds. And it's ready. Here are all three designs we created today. And that's the end of our episode. Let us know in the comments below if you like shimmery designs for spring, just like most of the fashion shows, which like Indigo, banked on glittery trends for this season. Thanks for watching and see you next time.